Welcome, today we have a fender bender on an older Land Rover and today we're going to highlight some tools that make uh, your body repairs a little more refined to elevate them if you will. Uh, we're going to be using some, right now we're using slide hammers, we're going to be using some PDR rods, changeable tip ones, blending hammers, uh, lip pliers, so heating up the panel to make it a little more pliable. Everything about the PDR changeable tip tools is the uh, you can start with a rubber one for getting up the low spots without pushing uh, high spots in everywhere. Then you go all the way up to like a sharp uh, pick like tool where you could push up micro lows. Right now, using a, a PDR blending hammer to knock down the crowns with a dolly on the backside. And it's just a regular. Uh, body hammer here to once again knocking down crowns and just working the fender using a, a limited PDR light also very handy to have get a good read on the panel Now we're using a PDR knockdown tool, which is just a, a VIP tip and a generic handle. Uh, just good for using to get some more precise blows. So you're just knocking down exactly where you need to be knocked down. Just to really, once again, just fine fine tuning that fender as best I can. we're using here is a lip flyer where it just really straightens out the lips and fenders and stuff really nicely. Here we got a good read on the panel here and you see it's quite nice. Uh, pretty much ready to move on to the next step which would be test fitting. You can see we got the fender and bumper gaps fitting nice. And we're moving on to sanding and filling now. Using linear blocking tools to do the blocking with today. 
I highly suggest you go pick yourself up some of these. They will give you a flatter finish than any other blocks on the market. And any tool that can uh, make your work look that much better is definitely worth it.